for his Facebooks and Instagrammers. I know you can see me amongst this storm. We can't let this go, can we? So I wanted to talk about hunting quartering and some of the things that are involved in that. A lot of people turn up and their obsession is how their pattern looks, but they don't have any control over the dog. If you don't have control of your dog, you can't put it where you want it. So you need to be doing drill work. About teaching that dog coming across your toes. It has to be done in obviously a specific way so as not to cause hesitation and eye contact. But if done in the correct way, you'll be able to get that dog on that turn whistle back across your toes every time rather than that dog slowly working itself further and further away from you. When I was a kid, we had to do football at school. All we wanted to do in games practice was play a game. But we weren't able to do that. We had to do dribbling practice, passing, kicking, everything. What we call drill work. Doing swimming, running, all sorts of different sports. Dog's no different. You need to do your drill work. It doesn't look like the end result, guys. Don't worry about that but it will teach your dog control. And if you have that control, then you can start to create a really nice pattern. But until you have that, it's just a false economy, guys. So stop getting caught up with doing junk training. Focus on the things you should be doing, getting that dog back across your toes, finding retrieves. Make sure you don't get hand uh, caught handling those retrieves. That's really important. Obviously, I can't cover everything when I'm doing these little rants that I like to do, but, if you get those things done correctly, then you'll have a really nice controllable pattern and then you can start to create that pattern that people are obsessed with. Anyway, I hope that makes sense guys. Hope you enjoy your training this weekend. Get out there, get nice and wet like I am going to do and I'll catch you soon.